Okay, so we have a customer who had a request for an installation on this. It's the tire care grab handle. Uh, it is a pretty installation, but we'll walk through it and show you all the different things that it comes with. So you have the end cap, you have the latch, the spindle for the, uh, the handle itself. You have a couple metal dowels in here. You have the rubber spacer, uh, the mounting bolts. So this is basically everything that you're going to need to latch this onto our tire carrier. So let's go ahead and put that a cap on real fast. Now when you put the cap on, it is going to be, there's a slot on the bottom here that is going to be on the bottom side, so just make sure that it's not on top. It is facing the bottom. The bolts will be put on the side. Now we're not going to tighten this down all the way. This is just a, an example video, so we're going to hand tighten them down just to lock it in place. Okay, so this basically right now, the way this is going in, this side is going to face on the out because this is where the handle is going to go. So on the outside of the Jeep, the, the small narrow part, portion of this goes towards the, the rear of the Jeep. So just make sure that this right here, this side stays on the outside because this is where it's going to go and that's where your grab handle mounts onto. Go ahead and throw the rubber spacer on there. This will help secure it. Now this little dowel has a hole in it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna line that hole up on the end so you can put the screw through and it'll lock it in place. This is where it actually mount or, uh, mounts up or latches to the bottom portion of the bumper to secure it and lock the, the gate from opening up. Now there is a small little screw that you're gonna use with the Allen to go ahead and lock this dowel in place. So there's a hole that slides in and basically this little piece is gonna be used to lock it in place. And what this dowel is for is to make it so your handle doesn't just spin freely. As you can see, it'll stop right here. If you didn't put this in place, then basically all that will happen is the, the handle will spin around and around and around. You can still lock it in place, but this is so it just goes one, basically one direction. Go ahead and throw the handle on the end, please. Now with this, it is going to be somewhat of a tight fit, mm -hmm. but if you can see here, the, the circle is going to go on the outside. That's where you can put the screw in. There's some grooves right here that will match up to this uh, this metal right here. So basically it's gonna be a little hard, but you can, you can tap it in with a rubber mallet, whatever it may be. But once you put this screw in, it'll tighten it down. Install should take you no more than five minutes.